Welcome to our new game. Find the rule. Where each abstract header must find its own rule. Tonight we have a special guest, the co-app header. It's been feeling incomplete and is hoping to find its perfect match. Let's meet our first candidate. Stepping onto the stage, will this be the one to make our co-app header's fields flutter? Hi, I'm rule 1 slash 8. Let's see if you match. Let's remove downlink fields. Accept is here. Code also. Message ID 2. Token length is present. As token. Type is there. URI path is here. <sighs> but URI path in position 2 is missing. Sorry, rule 1 slash 8, you cannot be selected. What is the ID of the second candidate? Hello, chic lovers. I'm rule 2 slash 8. Good luck, 2 slash 8. So, we have accept. Code. Message ID. Token length. Token. Type. URI path position 1. And this time, URI path in position 2. And finally, version. Uh, what's this? Uh, rule 2 slash 8. You've made a critical error. Uh, let's break it down for our audience at hum. You've defined a URI path in position 3, but it's not present in our lovely co-app headers abstract form. I'm afraid that's a deal breaker, folks. Rule 2 slash 8. You're just not the match our co-app header is looking for. Rule 2 slash 8. We're sorry, but you'll have to leave the stage. Better luck next time on Header Matchmaker. After two disappointing attempts, our co-app header is still searching for its perfect match. But don't lose hope, folks. It's time to meet our third candidate. You know, they call me Rulu 3-8, but I'm 100% committed to finding my perfect match. I've got a whole lot of love to give to the right header. Can you believe it? After all this time, we finally have a perfect match. That's right, folks. Our co-adder and rule 3 slash 8 are in perfect harmony, at least when it comes to their field's ID. But don't get too excited just yet. This love connection isn't sealed with a checksum quite yet. Oh no, we're just getting started. Now that our co-app header and rule 3 slash 8 have made it through the first round, it's time to dive deeper into their compatibility. Folks, we're entering the second round. In this heart-pounding phase, we're bringing in two special guests to help our potential lovebirds find true harmony. Let's give a warm welcome to our matchmaking experts. First up, the one, the only target value. And joining us all the way from the land of logic, please welcome matching operator, or as friends call them, ML. To make this easier on the eyes of our viewers at home, we're going to do a little redecorating. That's right, we're reordering our abstract header for a simplified view. We'll be comparing the target value with the field value that are currently in the spotlight. But here's where it gets really exciting. To make this comparison, we have not one, not two, not three, but four matching operators ready to play Cupid. Here's how equal works. It looks at the field value in our dazzling carp header, then at the target value in our charming rule. And if they're exactly the same, ding, 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 we have a match. And would you believe it? We've hit the jackpot not once, not twice, but four times. That's right, protocol lovers. We've got perfect equality in version, type, token length, and code. Say hello to our next matching operator superstar, MSB. That's right, the most significant bits are in the house. It comes with a special argument that tells us exactly how many bits from the left we need to check. Spin the co-op header's corner. We have the field value, 0012 in hexadecimal, and in rules corner, the target value, 000. MSB is on a mission to find if the first eight bits are a perfect match. It's a match. The first eight bits are identical. It's another victory for love in the world of protocols. Ignore is the matching operator that believes in unconditional love. It doesn't sweat the small stuff, or the big stuff, or any stuff at all. With ignore, it's all good. Any value is the right value. It's like the hippie of the protocol world. Totally groovy with whatever, man. And get this, ignore is so laid back, it doesn't even need a target value. Give it up for the choosy, the particular, the list-loving match mapping. 
This operator is like the bouncer at the most exclusive club in town. It's got a list, and if you're not on it, you're not getting in. Here's how match mapping rolls. It comes with a target value that's not just one value. Oh no, it's a whole list of VIPs. And would you believe it, our field value status is on the list. We're moving on to our next field, and guess who's making a comeback? That's right, it's everyone's favorite easy-going operator. Ignore, remember ignore, the operator that never met a value it didn't like. Well, it's back and it's feeling groovy about the second element of our Yuri path. It all comes down to this, folks. Our last field is about to face the ultimate test of compatibility. And who have we brought in for this crucial moment? That's right, it's the return of our old friend. Equal, will this field value match its target perfectly? Will equal give us that satisfying dings of a perfect match? Ooh, the agony, the heartbreak. Ladies and gentlemen, we've hit a devastating snag on header matchmaker. Just when we thought our co-op header and rule 3 slash 8 were destined for digital bliss, cruel fate has intervened. Our final field values are uh, different. We've got a uh, 50 on one side and a 60 on the other. So close, yet so far, and I'm afraid I have more bad news, folks. In the, um, the unforgiving world of header matchmaker, there's, there's no room for all, almost perfect. If even one matching operator fails, it's game over. Rule 3 slash 8, I'm sorry, but you won't be selected. You'll have to leave the stage. Well, protocol lovers, it looks like Cupid's Arrow missed its mark this time on header matchmaker. That's right, folks. After all the excitement, the drama, the ups and downs, we're ending this episode without a perfect match. Our co-op header will have to continue its search for that special someone who truly understands its fields and values. So keep those antennas tuned and those ports open. You won't want to miss our next thrilling episode of Find the Rule.